Hello, friends. Uh, I am so happy you're here for a reading vlog. Uh, this is very far in the future. Katrina here very early in the morning uh, before I've done my full makeup. So excuse that. But I am wearing the same shirt, I think, in the next clip. Uh, so it kind of works out. Uh, I did not realize I did not film an intro at all for this vlog uh, where I read seven new horror books and horror arcs. Oops. Uh, I, yeah, nowhere was the thinking process of me being like, do I need to film an intro to this? So here I am like a week after I finish the vlog and I go to edit and uh yeah here i am at uh 9 a.m on a sunday uh <laughs> filming this so i'm not going to go over all the books that i ended up reading in this vlog because i ended up reading seven i just don't want to list them off but i will timestamp when i talk about them down below and uh, i do halloween decor hunting a little bit it's mostly hauls um as i said in my last vlog too we're in like the haul mode right now and it's it's soon coming to an end and I'm very sad uh, but I do get some decorating in uh, just a little bit uh, and yeah look forward to more decorating video or decorating in vlogs uh, but yeah let's cut to uh, two weeks ago Katrina or three weeks it might be longer than that I don't know what time is uh, but yeah cut to past Katrina okay uh, so I am halfway through Dear Hannah by Zoe Stage. Uh, if you guys don't know, this is the sequel to uh, Baby Teeth. And yeah, so we're following the ch the evil child from Baby Teeth and I'm enjoying it. Um, I, I'm, I like the um, kind of not knowing what Hannah's gonna do next and her talking about like her shadow self and stuff. I'm always really interested in that. Uh, so yeah, it's more definitely more psychological than anything. Um, maybe more like a psychological thriller. So far nothing real horror has happened which is kind of like in Baby Teeth. Like it was just that evil kid like thriller kind of trope. Uh, but I am enjoying it. So that is for my book update. So today I was off. I'm off from both jobs which is super super exciting uh, because I can do Halloween decor hunting. And did I lose my mind today doing Halloween decor hunting? Yes, uh, and I'm gonna try to show you guys as quickly as possible through all of this because they are doing construction uh, because why wouldn't they? It's been like five years. Why would they ever stop? Uh, so I'm gonna, if it pauses too, it's because of the construction. Uh, so starting off with Dollar Tree, I lost my freaking mind in Dollar Tree. I was the happiest person in Dollar Tree today. I'm just gonna tell you that. Um, so for crafting, I got these little felt guys. I'm definitely going to attempt to do a garland of some sort with these. Maybe not together, maybe separate. I haven't decided yet. And then I got the uh, jack-o'-lantern lanterns. I've never gotten these before, but I really want to add them to my pumpkin entryway this year. And then, of course, I had to get some freaking stickers. I love these stickers. You guys know we do card exchanges and stuff like that. So it's always fun to have little uh, stickers from Dollar Tree. I will say I think Dollar Tree has really upped their game this year um, because I saw stuff in there that I've never seen before. Like a party wise, I got these ha um these web these web plates they're so cute for a halloween party they had two different sizes too this is the smaller size and they had a bigger size but i was like i think this is a good party size and then they had glow in the freaking dark stuff like what and i keep all my um stuff i reuse them every year for halloween parties um up in my kitchen so this would be perfect because it will glow at night and I'm so excited and then they have this cute bowl I think the bowl got a little warped in my cart because I also got groceries there so my car was like packed um but yeah oh my gosh it is so cute I also got another party thing um I got these garland these bat garlands uh tinsel curtains okay so cute I don't know how they're gonna look but the picture looks cute it looks like it's 
what it's supposed to be so i am super excited for that to decorate with that and then of course creepy cloths get your creepy cloths at dollar tree they have two different colors and it's amazing and you guys i went freaking crazy with the socks i am going to give some of these away because i went totally ballistic um with the socks so these some of these are going to be gifts but they have these pink fuzzy bat socks ghosties um bat purple bats and these how fun are those and then another like stripey fuzzy sock pumpkin fuzzy socks did i get two pairs of pumpkin fuzzy socks says i am gonna get these and then i had to have a pair for myself skeletons so cute so cute and you know i'm still gonna buy freaking um i'm still gonna buy uh the um socks from target too which i did see halloween at target i only saw a couple things the other day yesterday when i was picking up a pickup order on my break um not a lot but i saw it and i was excited um and then also these so cute very beetlejuice <laughs> very uh cutesy very mindful and i got some garland too i've actually never seen this green garland um, it's not a super bright green, but I think I can make it work. Uh, and then, of course, more pumpkin garland. Because I pulled out some of my pumpkin garland um, already, and it's looking a little rough. But you know how it is. And then I found this so cute. Like this, um, this is for reefs, but I'm gonna make it work somewhere else, I think. Of course, I had to get a witch, you know. If you don't know, these pop out. They're like little hangers, but I think they're so cute. And um, I don't know what happened to my witch from a couple years ago and then of course I got another pumpkin one just in case I didn't have 20 already uh, so I got that oh no and then I got these little solar pumpkin stakes um, to put around my pumpkins even though they might grow over them because uh, that is way out of control and they had green little party favor pumpkins so yeah I'm definitely gonna find a place for those um, next, I just want to talk about Michaels really quickly. Um, I haven't been getting too much at Michaels, but I did get a diamond painting um, with ghosties. Don't know when I'm going to do that. And then I got a color uh, paint by numbers that looks like a fancy uh, painting, like a classical painting. Um, so I think I'm going to gift this um, and attempt to hopefully do the diamond painting to add to my ghost wall. And then I had to get some baby doll heads. I got a three pack for three dollars. I mean, the um, one of them is already sitting um, on my desk at work. So exciting stuff. And then speaking of baby doll heads, I went to Big Lots today, uh, and the lady there wrapped my baby doll heads separate. I think she got scared of them. Uh, but I got more baby doll heads. I don't have this one it glows red so cute and then i got this crackly green one i don't have these crackly ones i just have like i have a big crackly one i don't have the mini one but they have this one there too oh yeah i think no this is another one I, you know, when you have too many baby doll heads, you just kind of lose track of stuff. I also got the little, little mini, mini ones from Spirit already. So I think I'm good. I think I'm, I think I'm all set on my baby doll heads this year, but, uh, very exciting. And then I got some glow in the dark, uh, uh spider webs. And I'm very excited for this to go and like glow in it. My kitchen's going to glow in the dark. It's going to be awesome and then i got some candles which she wrapped up so nicely i got this house is haunted october 31st pumpkin spice big lots do not sleep on big lots if you have one near you they have some really cool stuff and it's always really well priced like this was seven dollars and it looks like it like has some stuff in there it's a three wick and it smells so good then i got this warm pumpkin spice candle but it looks like candy corn it is not candy corn scent it's a pumpkin spice scent, but it, it smells so good. I'm look, still on the lookout for another candy corn um, candle because I have one every year. So hopefully I'll be able to find one. And then I found the cutest kitchen rug. It is a 
PG kitchen bag. Oh my gosh, it is so, so cute. And it was only $7. So that is exciting. I just folded it weird. And then I got a pumpkin. So I got this um, a couple weeks ago, actually. I got this pumpkin electric tart burner to go because I have an orange one in my kitchen now. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm doing green. So it's not technically going to match. So I think this would match too. And I'm trying to move away from my tea light tarp burners just because I'm having a tough time like getting the wax out um and then I'm gonna talk about Burlington really fast so I have a love-hate relationship with Burlington uh but I ran in there today because I was going there's an Aldi right next to it so I was like whatever let me go in and I found these containers I've already used some and washed them um to make that dense bean salad to meal prep uh but yeah i thought these were so cute you get seven in a pack for five dollars could not pass that up you cannot pass that up and then i hit the jackpot of jackpots i found sheets halloween sheets in king size i was not expecting it i could never ever seen king size Halloween sheets ever in person uh, in my life in my lifetime I turned a corner and they had this is this my style necessarily in my bedroom no is it cute yes it's very cutesy <laughs> and mindful <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop saying that uh but yeah I think it's so cute and I don't even care if it's pink I was just happy to find it and I think it'd be cute for Valloween too so I can use it for Halloween and Valloween so I was just so happy. And instead of a mug, I got a pint glass, a Beetlejuice pint glass for $5. So, you know, I've been very good this year. I've only bought one Halloween mug. So yeah, I'm waiting for the Target threshold mugs to come out, honestly. But I thought this one was cute. And you know, I can put um, a beverage in here and be like, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, ah, so exciting. So that was my haul, very quick haul. It was Dollar Tree, Burlington, Big Lots, and a Bicycles. You guys do not sleep on a Big Lots or a Burlington because you never know what you will find. Uh, honestly, made my day. You guys, uh, kind of where I'm at with that pumpkin entrance. So I have still had these up from last year, but I really want to like, I need to dust. Of course, it's out of focus. Uh, but I need to dust and expand on all of this. Also, I just noticed this pumpkin. This stack is different color than all the other ones. Interesting. Uh, so, yeah, I need to definitely expand and see how you can still see the wall here. Yeah, I need to fix that. Also, I need something for this door. Uh, and then this is the bookshelf here. This is honestly a mess right now. Oh yeah, I got my I got my girl here hanging out. I actually had her in this window for a while to scare construction workers. So I think I had her like hanging up and I would try to scare them. Uh, but she talks too, I believe. I haven't messed with her in a minute, but I forget what she says. She sits on a swing. I actually saw a couple of her in um, Big Lots today. So they still have her. And yeah, it's just a mess over here. It's a messy corner of boxes and stuff I need to donate. And then we have our AC unit here. And I have a dirty Naomi Klein book, Capitalism versus Climate. I did read this. I think it ended up somewhere um, where it got... <laughs> got dirty uh, but yeah this is really cute too I want to keep that there for sure um, that's uh, from when I worked at Squish and Bowl uh, but I have like this flower um, fabric here that I kind of use as a curtain for this window it doesn't need a curtain necessarily but I think I'm gonna do another fabric here and I'm gonna attempt to do pumpkins so hopefully I get this done in this vlog it's more pumpkin-y and less chaotic okay so it has been a couple of days since i last checked in or started this vlog uh but i've read a ton of books uh i also went to the national book festival with 
Lexi and Monica this past weekend. Did I film anything? No. But to be honest, we were mostly just standing in line <laughs> the whole time. Uh, but I had fun. Um, I will, um, I did get a book. I got uh, Looking for Smoke by uh, Casey Coble. Uh, this is a debut YA. And of course, it's across the room right now. Uh, so I'll just put a picture here. Uh, and I went to the panel. We went to the panel with this uh, author as well. And I got it signed. So I'm excited to read that. Uh, but as for for books I did finish um I believe I left off on the Dear Hannah that uh new Zoe stage book this one was kind of disappointing I do feel like so I read Mother by Mothered by Zoe stage um last year and I liked it I liked the twist ending uh and or there was a twist at the end that I really liked this one I was kind of waiting for the twist and it just didn't happen and it just felt kind of like meh like very meh so I think I'm giving it two stars which is kind of sad because I was enjoying it and I was enjoying that dread and that build up with this character and it just never happened so that was kind of sad uh and then I read an arc um I have of uh The Drowning House by Sherry Priest this came out July 23rd and this is more of like a mystery small town mystery um it was very cozy for me i've read the toll by this author and that was uh their folk horror there's a bit of folk horror in this but i don't think it's labeled as folk horror uh but yeah this was pretty spooky there if you could tell from the cover there is this house that like appears on um this coastal town and it's like kind of like just existing in the water and it's all like hollowed out and stuff but um we're following two friends they were friends in childhood and they're reflecting back on what happened when they were kids uh and their friend is missing their other friend that they were yeah friends with um and so they go looking for him uh and there's just all these weird circumstances that keep happening and there's like mystery they have to like do research and stuff which i love that and it was very very cozy um and the imagery and the atmosphere was great uh but it really didn't um blow me away or anything but i did enjoy it so i think i'm giving it 3.5 stars I read stay on the line by clay mcloy chapman uh and i uh loved this book it's only 47 pages it's actually like a not called a novelette um i believe that's the correct term and this came out july 30th i actually did a call in and he did a little reading for it it was really fun and he's so nice like such a nice person uh but this takes place in an area of uh the chesapeake bay that i've actually been to so clay always has those like virginia vibes if i shall say uh so i did enjoy this a ton it's very emotional and then it just was scary there's pictures in the ebook that i have of it and it was like unnerving um and the pictures are very like scary stories-esque uh but since this is so short i'm not even gonna tell you what it is honestly like just read it yourself because <laughs> it, if you could tell it has to deal with a payphone and that's pretty much all you need to know uh but it was like so sweet it was sweet and kind of mean and a little gnarly and uh, it does a lot in 47 pages really read more than i thought i did the past couple of days uh so the next book i read i read the unmothers by leslie j anderson and that book was published at the beginning of august i believe august 6th and this was another one where i don't know i was waiting for like something else to happen the whole time or something big to happen and it just kind of fell flat there's some there's some cool stuff that happens in it where you're like okay like we're gonna get like this huge scene and i feel like it never happened in it um this is a folk horror uh and i did get those folk horror vibes um i do wish the atmosphere was a little stronger too and i do wish we just stuck with one a pov uh of the reporter that's going to this town to investigate this story so basically this this um this investigator this journalist is going to 
into a town to investigate a story of basically a horse went to give birth but a human baby was um born and uh the um it switches around POVs a lot and I'm like I don't think I needed and everybody else is also it would have kept it like a tighter book like I felt like this one dragged a lot and it just didn't have a good payoff uh so I am giving this one two stars sadly I feel sad about it and then I read The Night Guest by Hildur uh, Netsdorty Dorty? <laughs> that's just totally butchered uh and this was translated by uh, Mary Robinetti, uh, I believe. This is a Icelandic little horror novella and I really liked this one. It was very short and sweet and like to the point of things uh, but basically you're following a woman who is not feeling great. She always feels very tired when she wakes up in the morning and she goes to the doctor and the doctor is like well you you definitely need more exercise and like to eat better and stuff so they give her like a um a smart watch that tracks your steps so she can start counting her steps and uh the steps one day she wakes up and it's like 40,000 steps that she walked from midnight till she woke up in the morning she's like there's no way and I'm not gonna say anything else <laughs> because it was like short and sweet and like to the point and it was just like bam 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 here I am I'm a horror book <laughs> and I enjoyed it I give it four stars Finally, I ended up reading Such Lovely Skin by Tatiana Scoletti Bonnet. I hope I pronounced that right. I don't know why I got French at the end there. Uh, but this is an arc I have from Paper Source or Paper Street Publishing, which is that YA company that sends me an awesome pack, sent me an awesome package. Uh, and this cover, amazing. Of course, I had to request it. And this is another, um, I thought it was. A, a, no, uh, a novella. It is not. It is a full-length novel, uh, but it is about a teenager who, it's a YA book, of course, and it's about a teenager who um, has, um, gets a horror game. I, mean, I was trying to think of where to start. Uh, so she basically does Twitch streaming where she streams horror games, and she's a horror girly and she gets this new game it's like an escape room game uh and she goes to stream it and then afterwards some weird stuff starts to happen she also had something really traumatic happen like three months prior so it does a dual timeline and i really enjoyed this um it's very dark it deals with a lot of heavy issues even um, for adults. So definitely look up content warnings for this one, but I liked it. I liked how it, it went into the complexities of being a teenager, like the, these days, you know, these day and ages, <laughs> you know, I definitely did not have the internet the way it is when I was a kid. So, um, seeing that represented in a book and like kids what they struggle with and stuff I honestly don't think I would let a teen my teenager like do twitch or something like this personally I would be like you have to actually get a retail job and go work retail um <laughs> I would be horrible I'd be like welcome to hell you know but her parents seem really cool to let her do that um but yeah and just I, I did really enjoy it and I gave it four stars. I will say it is slower. It is a slow bird, uh, but I did enjoy it. And I'm planning on reading, hopefully, at least two more books because I have a couple more days before August ends and I just um, want to, I'm just in the mood to read all the new horror books because I feel like I was, I was lacking. Uh, so on to the haul, all hail the Halloween haul. You guys, my shirt. I got the cutest shirt from Spirit. Okay, you might not be able to see. I don't want to get all my makeup on here. Um, but yeah, it's witchcraft and they're crafting here. There is at the bottom, maybe I'll show it like when I take it off. There's a crochet hook. Yes, of course I had to get it because of the crochet hook. There is a black cat with freaking yarn on it. It's so cute. It's so cute. Ooh. Okay, I had to take like a five minute break because 
I needed to stand in front of the AC. I needed to turn it on and stand in front of it. It got hot again. It was so nice. Last week, like, um, at the beginning of the week and stuff, it was, like, the high of 80, and I was, like, loving it. And now it's, like, back to hell. Here we are. But Target has put out their Halloween, and, um, Target has, not only has my number, they literally have, like, my hopes and dreams, um, out of the Halloween. Of course, I went ahead and got the bag you know I think I have all of these except for the pumpkin and now I'm like do I need the pumpkin one they're just so freaking cool and for it being ten dollars and I know it's like cheap like cheaply made stuff it's gonna hold up though like I think you can have this up forever um and it will totally hold up but yeah I had to get this oh my gosh oh yeah and i didn't get this at my target it was when i was on my way um to dc um or to baltimore i um stopped by at a target in my old hometown and ugh, they had it all out and i was like i wasn't crying but i was very excited and i saw lewis if you know you know i saw him uh and then i got this little ghosty picture so so cute this was five doll hairs I had to get it for five dollars of course and it does have this but i think i'm just gonna um do like mounting tape because i might have ripped off a bunch of wallpaper off my wall the other day moving stuff around uh so i can just cover this up and rip off more wallpaper you know when i go to take it off one day but who cares um on my ghost wall i think my ghost wall it wasn't one of the things i wanted to do this year but or i wasn't really going to focus but i was see i've been seeing stuff and i'm like oh my god ghost wall uh so i'm also got these guys so cute um little hanging ghost i think these will go perfect of course for the ghost wall uh but yeah as i said i've just been kind of seeing stuff for that wall and i'm like adding to it it's no rhyme or reason to it and then this is a party decor but i did get the skeleton guy um i, I just love him so much i don't know where i'm gonna put him yet maybe on my back door like facing inside because i do have a green skeleton there already but it's like a dollar tree one from a couple years ago and it's done its duty i think personally and then i got this pumpkin <gasps> okay he's a little dinged up because there's the only one there but he's amazing like what like why are you so cute it was five dollars as well i would get a hundred of these <laughs> like what is so cute it is just it's just joy it's just like hi i'm a pumpkin and i'm here and i'm living and yes i loved it um honestly i had to get this even it, it has a few scratches on it but i i don't know if i will ever see this in person like ever again uh so it just has my heart it's so cute and then i got some kitchen towels i actually haven't bought any this year so I was so excited to find this. Ignore my nails. I have one press on left from the weekend. But yeah, I was so excited to find these neon pumpkins. Very cute. The neon line has me. It has me. You guys know this. Uh, but I also got this doll. This pumpkin doll. He's grand. Just like so cute. And yeah, $5. I went to order a couple of these online and this is what was sold out. Um, it's just so cute. And it like sits. It has like the thing where the legs dangle. How he's built. And then I think this is it, which is crazy. I'm looking. It's not it. Um, <laughs> we'll it for now. We'll do it for now. Um, I got this pumpkin guy too for five dollars. He kind of looks the same as uh, this guy, but I mean, um, I just had to have him. And then he has his little his little ghost bucket as well that has the face on it. I was like, get me the hell out of here. 
get me out and honestly this was maybe good because they had such cute stuff like they have this neon bat they have it in a blow mold and it is adorable I don't know where to put it though it's so cute though like the blow molds are very cute uh but yeah get me out of there uh, <laughs> I am going back this week though just to see if my target has any out um but yeah, that's it for this update and haul. Um, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to rein it in and actually do my decorating. I've been working on my pumpkin corner. My pumpkin corner. Well, right now it's still like, yeah, my, yeah, pumpkin corner. Uh, but I'll give you guys an update of that today as well. Uh, but that's it for now. Here's that shirt in all its glory. Ha ha ha. Uh, yeah, there's the little cat with the yarn. The cat is like, what is going on? And there it is, the crochet hook. So we usually see knitting needles um, when it comes to like any craft stuff. So how exciting. There's a crochet hook. Oh my God. Okay, the updated pumpkin corner. So um, I definitely added more pumpkin here. I'm trying to move stuff, uh, but of course I didn't get up there. And then we're not gonna really talk about this because it's crooked up here. <laughs> um, but I did hang it and it does look so pretty when the sun is like, when it's like dusk, it's like all orange and stuff. Uh, but I do think I'm gonna keep her there because that's her spot uh but yeah so i added a lot more I added some of the dollar tree stuff i moved over um that for my wall that's what i ripped my wallpaper off doing um and then i added my guy over there i don't know if i'm gonna keep him over there he's just like oh hey hey what's up i'm 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 a pumpkin too you dad? I'm a pumpkin. Uh, but I wanted to start telling a bit of a little story with this corner, um, or hopefully potentially an entryway. Um, but, oh yeah, I got this guy over here. I put a reef around him. I think he looks so cute. But I wanted to tell a story about like kind of like the wicked, the evil looking pumpkins, the menacing pumpkins scary ones in with like the regular like hee hee I'm a pumpkin and then it's like but I am a pumpkin like and they're kind of hiding in with all of these regular pumpkins I don't know about that that guy over there um with the teeth uh don't know about him but I thought that would be like a fun little thing to to do over here and then I have this guy it's like oh I'm a regular pumpkin and nope <laughs> psych <laughs> not uh but yeah it's just something I messed with over here and yeah um I think it's looking good and hopefully I will be able to put out more soon Okay, so it has been a couple of days since I last checked in, but I did manage to read two more books uh, for this vlog and a good way to end August. Uh, so I ended up reading Here Lies a Ventral Bitch by Cody Crawley. This is a new YA horror from debut author Cody Crawley. Uh, I follow this um, this creator on TikTok. Uh, she works at a haunted antique store in Salem, Massachusetts. Uh, and I think that's how I found her and then it was like, oh, I'm coming out with a book. Uh, and yeah, it was super fun. <laughs> I listened to this in like a day. Like it was it went by so fast uh but uh yeah basically it's like a resurrection story a ya horror resurrection story of the resurrection of is it annie it's annie something uh but yeah she was a bit wild uh teenager and just what comes with all of those stereotypes i guess and uh what pe how people perceive you and stuff in a small town and a community and your family and I loved it. Uh, it was really funny. It had great atmosphere. It was, um, it had like a whole world, if that makes any sense. Like, um, there's like this 
a whole com community of ghosts, I guess, uh, you know, like right off the bat, um, you're like, okay, I know what's up here. Uh, but yeah, uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm giving it a five stars. One of my favorite reads this month, uh, and I highly recommend it. And then I read, um, <laughs> do I remember the name of it? Uh, I, oh gosh, I am totally, um, Midnight Rooms by uh, Danya uh, Coyles, Coles? Uh, <laughs> Oops. I love this cover so much. Uh, and this is like a gothic, um, supernatural story. Um, it's hard to like even pinpoint what this was, um, at its core because I really thought this was a YA book as well, uh, when I started it, but it got like very erotic. It had like a lot of erotic parts. So I think it's just like a gothic horror book. Uh, but I was like, so bored. The writing is very uh lush and like overwritten with everything. Um so the atmosphere was great but it's like you can only you only need so much atmosphere, you know? Uh and coming from Here Lies Vinstral Bitch being so like fast paced and like there was always something going on. This is like nothing's going on in it. Um I liked the beginning and then like the ending just fell so flat for me too. So I think I'm giving this one two stars. Sadly, um, I really, I really thought I would like this one because uh, the cover is just so gorgeous. And I will say the cover does translate to what the story is about, which I always love. Uh, so those are the two last new books uh, that I ended up reading in this uh, vlog. And yeah, I feel like I ended up reading like a wide range of different horror in the, this vlog, which is always nice to have a good mix in there. Uh, but I did want to share um, a haul very quickly. You probably see this guy. This is some more stuff I got at Target. This is just the bullseye spot. Is it called the bullseye dogs? No. <laughs> I was thinking of their, their dog, but that's not it. Uh, but this cute candy corn pillow. It's so cute. So they have a ghost this year too, but I'm not crazy about the ghost, but it was definitely haunting me at a Target when I was about to go, when I was on my way to see Lexi. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get this for Lexi. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it, but you know, I got Lexi a ghost one last year. So, um, I got this little candy corn one. I really hope, uh, Kelsey gets, uh, her hands on one this year. And then this ghost i had to have him it's hard to see because it is it's not super bright in here but it's hard to see him light up but the face the face is so good it's like oh, it's just so cute very very cute and this actually goes with uh this other candy corn piece too like they are too cute i had to have them both oh, adorable and these were three doll hairs and this was the five dollar pillow oh, i said pillow like that and then i just got the little duckies some of the little duckies they had i thought these would be fun to Put in my uh, bathroom, my haunted bathroom. It's very haunted. And this bat one is so cute. But yeah, those are the other ones. And then I ha do have some other stuff from Hide and Eek. It's like the party favor stuff, like the stamps I got, and I also got like some stickers and some gift bags and stuff. Um, I have actually already opened those up, and I'm using those to journal with. So that is a tip for journaling. Uh, to get those um, would be awesome. And then I'm working on a Beetlejuice kind of themed uh, Granny Square cardigan, like Beetlejuice colors for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, because I'm so excited. So this is the crochet update. I just did the cuff, so it's that neon green. 
And then I'm going to do like the outline. I'm going to do the neon green. And I'm wearing a Beetlejuice shirt too. <laughs> so it matches. I'm going to do the lime green cuffs outline. And then the back panel is going to be that. I'm trying to see if it's catching it on tape. I haven't tucked in anything. I honestly think this is my best cuff I've done. It actually looks pretty even. So yay and it didn't take me long at all to do so that was good yeah this did not take long um i was trying to do it i think it took me like three hours to do this so far and i'm almost done so that is awesome and then i thought i'd do an update to of my um <laughs> my blanket to see where we're at because it's been a minute i am a couple days behind but this is what it looks like so far. I like it. I'm excited to see how it ends up looking when it's 100 rows. I'm very excited for that. But yeah, that is the end of this vlog. Uh, and yeah, let me know if you've read any new horror books recently down in the comments down below. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.